Look guys, fucking snowing. It's cold as hell. It doesn't seem like a good time to come out and work out, but that doesn't matter. What does matter is what we want. So there are two factors that actually are the king of whether or not you're gonna get in shape or not. The two determining factors of characteristics that somebody has that I think, only me, this is just my opinion, that I think are going to be a determining factor of whether that person is going to be successful or not in any endeavor, not just uh, physical fitness, but um, that is a proving ground. So those two factors are gonna be desire, desire for a thing, and consistency. So that you want something is one of those factors. The fact that you want it is a big factor and consistency in working toward it. And that is uh, chiefly the two factors of whether I personally think a person is going to get what they want or not get what they want. Now, of course, there are some exceptions to the rule. There are some people who tend to slip through the cracks. There are some people who eh, get promoted when they're not supposed to. There are some people that um, that, that happens to. But usually, that doesn't happen in the fitness world and in the evolution world and in the survival world. So if, um, if you're primarily looking at physical fitness and non-enhanced physical fitness, not to say that if you were taking trend or fucking SARMs or whatever the fuck you're on, uh, that that won't help you get in shape. But you still do have to work pretty hard to get in peak shape even when using uh, performance enhancing drugs. So don't get twisted that people who are jacked as fuck and who are in fantastic shape and they use steroids or cheating necessarily, they're getting an edge for sure, but... I wouldn't say that that is the main contributing factor to their in shapeness. So let me just clear that up. And that's a kind of a side note, but, um, so I don't want to take that away from those people who do do that, but, um, yeah, don't do it anyway. So I'm not saying do it, but giving them slight credit, a little bit of credit. Um, anyways, so when you're getting out here and you are training hard and you're getting what you want, Yes, the two determining factors that I stated before, desire and consistency, are going to play big roles in that. Um, so, when you are going after your uh, physical fitness dreams, um, it's important that you keep that in mind. That number one, if you have a whiteboard in front of you, whiteboard in front of you, you write down on there, how can I get what I want? What is the secret to physical fitness? Number one, desire. We can go into desire a little bit, right? Desire could be as high as I want to win a gold medal in the Olympics for running track. Or I want to have six-pack abs and have, uh, you know, two, 4% body fat or whatever. Uh, I want to see what that looks like. So none of those are not desires you know like it doesn't matter how vanity driven or performance driven or whatever the goal is uh, i've seen people have great success by just wanting to look great and then have seen people have great success wanting to perform great and then those two paths uh kind of um separate a little bit in the mind but um, and i'll go into that in a second but but nonetheless they are goals so but the one thing to know is if you are going down that path of I want to look great, I do have a video on that where I talk about if you just want to look great, that's cool, right? And that's your goal in your mind. But the person who has a performance-based goal, like I want to have a gold medal in the Olympics, they're going to have a achievable lifetime goal, like something measurable and the physical body that you want most likely now there are like sumo wrestlers and shit out there that and like linebackers in the nfl or whatever that you know their physical body is 
fucking huge and massive uh, and they're not necessarily ripped. So those are also perform performance goals that may not lead to, uh, you know, a ripped body, but they have a strong physical form with nonetheless. So um, if your goal specifically is to be dialed in, uh, lean body, bodybuilder type of thing, also cool. Uh, but here's the thing. You still have to want it bad enough to have it. So in order to want it bad enough, how do you, how do you determine that? How do I determine that? How does someone on the outside determine if they're your coach or something, how you're, uh, how you're doing along the process, right? Like if you want to be ripped and shredded, or you want to go to the gold, uh, to the gold medal in the Olympics, but you only train, you know, moderately three times a week. Well, we're probably not going to get there, right? We could agree to that. Probably not going to get there with a minuscule workout program like that, right? Now, is that good enough to just, you know, maintain life and stay in pretty good shape and, um, you know, be all right? Like, yeah, I'd say so. You know, uh, when I was in the Marine Corps, it was funny because the military standard on fitness is actually pretty low. Uh, the physical fitness tests, you know, um, in all the branches are, are pretty low. They're basic fitness. Like, can you run three miles in 24 minutes? Yes. All right. Well, you pass. Are you great? No, but you pass. And can you do, you know, 20 pull-ups? Okay. You're in peak physical fitness, but you know, the minimum is six. So can you do six pull-ups? Yeah. All right. Well, you're not in that great of shape. If you run a 25 minute, 20 to anywhere from like 25 to 30 minute 5k, you know, you're, you're doing great. You're doing good. Like, don't get me wrong. Like you're out there running the race and uh, putting in the miles and stuff, which I'm proud of and everyone else is too. But, um, but are you like going to the Olympics? No, probably not. Um, and the reason for that is because to get down to like that top score of like 18 minutes or less, it's going to take a fuckload of effort. We're going to see you out there every morning running, doing it. And of course, again, you got deceptions to prove the rule that can just fucking smoke three cigarettes and uh, run three miles in fucking 16 minutes, which I have seen fucking barely run, fucking run three miles with a, with a dip in and get fucking 17 minutes. I've seen it. So don't think it's not out there. But um, anyways, yeah, so you go into the Olympics or you want that rib body. The determining factor is, you know, how are you going after it? Are you going after it uh, with, a, with a sound mind and you are being careful but also aggressive? You have to mitigate risk so that you can achieve the goal without getting injured. Now, of course, there's just a margin of... of um, a margin of risk when it comes to working out. Like, you know, you could, you could literally, I've, I've literally bent over to tie my shoe and like pull the muscle. So, um, there's kind of no easy way to go about it other than just have perfect form at all times. But anyways, um, so how are you going about it? Desire consistency. So the main big thing in this video is have a goal, whether, what, however it big, however big it may be, um, it may be to finish a 5k. You may, you want that gold medal in the Olympics. Cool. Uh, but you could also have run a 5k in, you know, 26 minutes. Like that's also amazing. So, uh, but for, you have to think for the individual, you know, for yourself, don't compare yourself to, you know, uh, Usain Bolt or something. Like if you're not there and you haven't been training for it, like let that guy have his glory and you can have yours, uh, and whatever thing you choose. But Whatever you choose, you do have to know that there's a certain amount of days and work that have to go into achieving the goal. And the determining factor of whether you're going to have it or not is how consistent are you in your efforts to get it? Uh, and how frequently, the frequency is another factor, but that kind of goes into consistency. So you're consistently going after it and, and working on it. And then that turns into like how frequent do you actually go? Um, there's plenty of different, uh, philosophies on frequency, but that could be another video, but, um, yeah. So desire, how bad do you want it? Consistency. Um, how long can you make it to your workouts in a period of five years? Like how many, 
days can you boom, 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 day after day, make it to your workouts. And that is consistency. Consistency is in a five year period, what is the consistent C look like? Like how many days did you make it to the gym in that time frame? And how, how, how were the workouts, you know, and that goes into, you know, training volume and all that stuff. But those the two main factors I think are that you want it. Number one, that you actually want it. And that will be known because if you don't actually want it, it's going to get too hard and then you won't be able to have it. And that just kind of goes into it. Um, and then consistency. So if you want it real bad, then you'll probably do, if you if you want it real bad and you do it consistently consistently then you will most likely have it uh depending on how long you train for it but um yeah that's pretty much the gist of this video i know it's kind of like all over the place but the main thing is get up regardless of the situation like here it is snowing uh it's not currently snowing right now but it's pretty cold it's like 29 degrees Cape Cod and uh it really doesn't matter how you feel about it like I know that I need to get up and go for a run right and then later I know that I need to go work out and I'm not going to miss that because once here's the thing here's a I'm, I'm going to be done after this but here's the thing first it's an intention so first it is a desire you know you want something you you know you feel a little twinge of like man I kind of I want to start training for this marathon right all right cool so that's the intention you know you had this like intention out here and then you have action so it's like okay I want to run a marathon so now what do I need to do well I need to get some running shoes um, so then you go get some running shoes and then you go out on your first run uh, cool so now you went out and you did an action, right? You, you decided that you wanted to do a marathon. Then you bought some running shoes. Then you went out on your first run. Does that mean you're going to be successful in the marathon? No, it doesn't. What makes you successful is the next step, consistency. So the fact that you went out on a run today is not a determining factor of whether you're going to go out on a run tomorrow. But you can prove that to us all if you do it. So then you go out tomorrow and you go for another run. And then you go out the next day for another run. And then you take a day off. And then you go out for the next three days and do a run. And then you start to build a routine, right? You build a routine. So you go out, you get your running shoes, you go for a run. You've been doing it for four months now. Day in, day out, day in, day out, day in, day out. Running, 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 running. Now you're putting in a good amount of miles. And then it turns into a habit, right? So your consistency turns into a habit. At first, you have to really work to, uh, to build up the, the, the motivation to go. You know, you really have to build it up inside of you to go. And then it turns into a habit. And then, guess what? It becomes who you are, right? So I can't say it any other way than that. Like, first it's an intention, then an action, then a consistency, and then it's a habit and then it's who you are. And I'm gonna end it there. Literally that. Intention, action, consistency, habit. Now you are that. And that'll probably be five years later, 10 years later, you know, that's it. Make it who you are, right? If you want to be fit, it's gotta be who you are. You're not gonna be a weekend warrior, uh, fitness guru. Uh, that's not the way it's gonna work. Jesus was not a, you know, that is who he was, right? Like. If you believe in that sort of thing, like that's who he was. So make it who you are and you'll be living a great life. And that's it, I'm out.